Hello fellow detectorists. Yes, here I am. I'm back out again. Back out on permission number three. Um, it's a lovely October, late October morning this morning. It's not too, not too cold. It's about 14 degrees. I got here nice and early. It's about half past eight, I believe. Um, it is the 22nd of October. I've got to give it another go up here today. I only had a, a short trip out last weekend because I, 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 like I said before, I, I, I got out late last Saturday morning, but I'm here nice and nice and early this morning anyway. So it's a bit windy, it's a bit blowy, but with a bit of luck, that won't be too bad. But we're gonna give it a go over here again. My new detector, hopefully is on the way. I wondered whether it was going to um, be here in time for this weekend or not, but it, but, but it's not. Um, but I'm still not 100% sure what's going to happen about that. But it's the ball is starting to roll, if you know what I mean. But we'll see. We'll see what happens on that. Anyway, I'll get on with it. And as always, you'll see me at my first find. I'm heading over to one of my favourite spots. And I'm not sure actually whether to just march straight over there or detect on my way. I think I might detect on my way. But anyway, I'll see you at my first find. Bye for now. Right then folks, just spotted the deer there as I was setting my camera up, but I just had my first find. And it is, I can't believe it. It's the first little Roman coin of the day, which is lovely. Here we go, look. Got some nice detail on this one. This is my first find. I've walked about 40 yards since my little intro. That's nice. And there is, you can see quite clearly on the back of this one, it looks like two, what looks like either two centurions or two gladiators or something like that look like they might be fighting they're not don't think they're standing with the um spears or anything like that they look like they might actually be fighting but that's a nice one nice detail on that one lovely let's carry on that's fine number one Bye for now.
Here we go folks, our next target. It's not that special, but I don't often get bullets like these, so I thought I'd show this. It's a decent size. It's a two ring bullet. I should imagine it's got some age to it. I don't think they fire bullets like this anymore. I just thought I'd show that, because like I say, I don't get many. Anyway, we'll carry on. Here we go folks, we've got our next target and it's something interesting. Um, it's that look. Now, it looks like it might be a tiny little, tiny little fibula. It has got a bit of decoration on just here. And along the top there, as though it might have been a, a tiny, tiny little fibula. Obviously it's not complete, it's, it's bits missing, but I'll give this a little, a little spray and I'll get straight back to you, as usual. You can see the decoration on there, look. That gave me a right scratchy little signal and I dug it anyway. No numbers on the display, and that's what it was. I'll tell you what settings I'm using at the minute at the, at the moment because I'm I'm doing something a bit different today. Anyway. Yes, here we go, look. That's it. It's definitely got decoration on it. And it does look like it's um possibly what's left of a little fibula that's nice and it sort of splays out a bit at the end it's quite interesting this one never found anything like this before lovely Anyway, let's carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got another one, we've got another Roman coin. Um, and that's it there. I think I can just vaguely see a bust or a head on this side. But it's the other side that's a bit more interesting. Because it's it's got that on there, look. Now I've never, I don't think I've ever had one with that on the back before. Obviously the very centre of the coin is the most detail and you can almost see the letters on there it's another nice sort of sized one but i don't think i've seen that design before anyway we'll carry on see what the next one is bye for now
Here we go folks, I've not had a thimble for a while either. So I thought I'd show that as well. It's not a very old thimble I don't think, but I don't get many of those recently or just lately. It's had a bit of a bash on this side. Anyway, let's carry on. Now, I mentioned a little while ago that I've been cha I changed a couple of things and was trying something a bit different. Well, what I've done is I've, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see that on there, it's very sunny today. But the frequency, I normally have it on about 17 um, kilohertz with the X35 coil, with the YHF coil, I go up to 26.1 or 0.2 or whatever it is normally. But I thought today I'd try dropping it down. So I'll put it down to 7.7. .7. And that's what I've been, that's what I've had it on all day today. I turned the iron volume off, just as a change, because I've always had it on. Reactivity on coin fast is normally three. I've dropped it down to two because um, apparently that can give you a little bit more depth but that's what I tried today and discrimination I normally have it on 5 or 5.5 and I've gone down to 4.5 and it's been handling it all right it's it's been okay sensitivity is on my usual 96 I always have it on around about 95 or 96 and we're back to frequency again so everything I've found today that's what I've had it on, on those settings. So I just thought I'd try something different. Hopefully if I do get a new detector soon. I thought it was about time <laughs> I tried something different with my aux. Because I always always go for the same settings. But they, they usually work fine for me. So I, I haven't bothered messing about with it too much. But I thought I would today anyway. Just to give it a go. Thought you might like to know that. Anyway, bye for now. We'll carry on. This is strange folks, I got another thimble. The one I got earlier had a bit of a, a dent in the side of it. This one seems to be more in one piece. Similar aged thimble I think. How about that, I got two in one day and I haven't had one for ages. But there again I am on different settings so... Am I picking up more of the mid-tone? type objects I suppose instead of finding coins all the time maybe that's maybe that's why how about that got another thimble anyway we'll carry on Here we go folks, we've got our next find, and it is a bit of a grizzly one. <laughs> um, I got myself a bird ring, but it's still got the bone in it, look. How about that? Yeah, there we go folks, how about that? A bird ring still with the bone in it and that's a decent sized bird ring this one so I should imagine that was probably a, a gull or a seagull or something like that I would guess how about that anyway let's carry on
Here we go folks, we've got ourselves another one. It's another little Roman coin. Um, nice detail on this one. There we go, that. Lovely. You can see the writing almost around the sides. And um, on the back is the two centurions, I guess. With a standard, or are they standard bearers? Great detail on this one. Brilliant. Anyway, let's carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, this is an interesting one. I've got a, an aluminium coin. Um, no, I would, would have guessed it was probably French or German or something like that, but I think, I think on the back there, there is almost looks like Japanese or Chinese writing at the top. If you know what that is let me know it's very light obviously it's like I say it's an aluminium coin if it, even if it is a coin um, I'm guessing that it is anyway let's carry on bye for now mm -hmm. 